You see the giant gold plated strange looking thing? Well, it's quantum computer, right? But our normal computers look very different from quantum computer. Then why is everyone calling it a computer? Well, it can do things that are different to what a computer does. Notice I said different, not better. People think that quantum computer is just a faster computer, but it's not. Quantum computer is used for something else. It is used for things that a normal computer cannot do or even take million years to do. Google recently launched its latest quantum chip called Willow. Willow performed a standard benchmark computation in under five minutes. That would take one of today's fastest supercomputer 10 septillion years. That is 10 to the power 25 years. But Google's quantum chip has solved it in under five minutes. So why are quantum computers so different? And why do we care about it? What world problems can a quantum computer solve? Can a normal person even use a quantum computer? Do we really need a quantum computer? Let's find out. First, let's see the difference between quantum computer and a normal computer. So our computers are designed for general computing. Our computers process information in binary that is zeros and ones. Our computers are used for deterministic tasks such as running applications, performing calculations, data processing, etc. But quantum computers don't process information in zeros and ones, but they process information using quantum bits, that is qubits, which means it can represent both zero and one simultaneously with superposition. This allows quantum computer to perform complex calculations and complex tasks very fast and very efficiently. Because of its ability to perform complex calculations very fast, it has many real world applications, which we will discuss later. I also noticed that some people are confused between AI and quantum computer. Well, these are two different things. AI is a field of computer science that is focused on creating systems that can mimic human intelligence. AI is something that learns itself faster and better, mimicking human intelligence. Things like self-driving cars, ChatGPT comes under AI. But quantum computers are not trying to mimic human intelligence, but rather to solve a complex computational problem that a normal computer cannot solve. But again, some people think quantum computer as a kind of GPU, but they are different. GPUs are used to do normal computational tasks faster. See this video. Let me speed it up. <laughs> when it's all said and done, it's going to paint the Mona Lisa. <laughs> GPU painting demonstration. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, science class is now over. Thank you. GPUs were initially designed to render graphics for video games, but now they are used to train AI models. Because of its parallel computing ability, any AI model can be trained in a fraction of time than it takes for a normal computer. Finally, I will also clear the difference between a supercomputer and a quantum computer. Supercomputer is nothing but a normal computer on steroids. Supercomputer processes information same like a normal computer in zeros and ones, but they use parallel classical processors for high speed calculations. Supercomputer solves anything faster, it can process huge amount of data in no time. But again, its functionalities are limited to what a normal computer can do and are different from a quantum computer. Before we begin to understand what the applications of quantum computers are in real world, see this. US and China are the two nations that are leading in the research of quantum computing. They are spending billions over building the most advanced quantum computer. China has already spent $15 billion in the space and the US is catching up. And even other countries are spending significant amount on building quantum computers. To understand why these nations are spending so much, we have to see where quantum computers are used in the real world. Number one, in cryptography. Cryptography is nothing but 
converting anything that is readable to a cipher text. When you shop online and make payments using a credit card, sensitive information such as card numbers, CVV needs to be securely transmitted over the internet. So all the sensitive data is passed over internet using cryptography. Now these cryptographic algorithms are very difficult to break. The latest algorithms such as RSA can even take millions for a normal computer to break it. But the same cryptographic message can be broken by a quantum computer in hours. So whoever has this most advanced quantum computer, they can break any cryptographic messages and information that are there or passed over the internet easily. Hence government are keen to use this to keep track of bad actors and to increase their internal security. That's why the US and China are in a race to make world's most powerful quantum computer. So apart from breaking and solving cryptographic problems, quantum computer can also be used to simulate molecular interactions for drug discovery. They can be used to model and simulate complex molecules which can help researchers find potential drugs for diseases much much faster and accurately. There may also come a time where we get cure for cancer and quantum computers can really play a pivotal role in that. They can also be used to solve climatic crisis, optimizing energy distribution and designing new materials for renewable energy. Quantum simulations are set to help and develop more efficient batteries and solar cells. And there are many other uses of quantum computers. Now the question is whether an average human being can use quantum computer on a daily basis. Can we ever get quantum computers in our pockets? The answer to that might be no, because quantum computers need extremely cold temperatures to function. Most quantum computers operate around 10 to 15 milli Kelvin and this temperature is colder than outer space. And for daily functions that we do, we really don't need a quantum computer in our hands. Hence, it is very unlikely for now that quantum computers are going to be mass produced for public. Quantum computers are definitely cooler and solve very different problems than a normal computer. I'm excited to see whether quantum computer can make drug discovery faster. This would definitely save a lot of human lives. With that said, that's it from my side. I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.